All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Ventures Podcast. The AI revolution is upon us, and today's episode, I'm going to be talking about landing pages and no-code, low-code solution and AI for quickly generating uh, web properties for your startup ideas. Um, if you're listening to this episode, you can watch by visiting, visiting the link in the, in the show notes. This is actually a screencast, so it's probably a good way to do it. But most people actually still listen on just podcasts, which is fine. I try to describe what I'm talking about. So if you're watching this, you can always switch over at any point to your podcast player. Uh, you can just search for Ventures wherever you get your podcasts and it should show up. Um, so there are a ton of these landing page builders, the Squarespace and Wixes of the world. Um, but I'm, I'm curious to approach this world from the new angle of what ChatGPT and generative AI can do for you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start by talking about Builder.io. Builder.io is pretty interesting because they have this drag and drop headless CMS, which basically means you can create content, publish it in lots of different areas, but they have their first visual editor on your own web page, similar to what you see here on the screencast, where you can kind of move buttons around and change copy, et cetera, et cetera. It's pretty slick. You know, the web, web flow, WordPresses of the world have had different things like this. There's, there's, there's a ton of different uh, examples in the marketplace. Um, but what's cool is that, you know, build, the builder IOs of the world have started incorporating more AI uh, into what they do. And so, if for the developers in the room, the reason why this is important is because how you integrate, as you, as you, basically as you're building a team, how you integrate between the business and the marketing people and the developers really matters. So this allows you throughout your, your website and even some of your internal apps, if you have different components that you need marketing and business folks to change, this, this sort of... Or, or specifically, this this solution allows you to do things like that. And so, Builder.io has lots of lots of different features, lots of different ways that you can go about building building your landing page and integrate in a more heavy you know heavy lifting with developers uh, and, and and scale effectively from there. And then they have landing pages uh, focus on landing pages as well. Um, so moving on, right? If you if you if you know the space at all, you've probably heard of Squarespace and Wix and Webflow and others. But uh, a, a while ago, like almost a year ago, Wix really developed their their ADI, right? their artificial design uh, interface, I believe it is, and their their artificial design allows you to create. Or artificial design intelligence, ADI, artificial design intelligence. So they, they allow you to um, put a series of prompts into to allow AI to build things out, and you can pick a theme and go for it and kind of content and, and go for, and and go from there. So many of you have probably heard of Wix and and it's just it's just getting better and better and better as the AI revolution continues uh, continues forward here. So when you Google search, you know, sort of landing page AI, this content bot that AI comes up, and it's the, the basic thing where you just put in a set of prompts, similar to what I've did with logos on the previous episodes of this podcast, and has different sort of headless CMS stuff here, um, and that allows you to it then it then generates a page for you. So going all the way now, this this service called Mixo. Is, uh, is, is a launch your startup in seconds. So it, when you're basically launching, launching a, a startup, you, you want to put a landing page up. You want to have your, your products and features, expected products and features. You want a wait list. You want to communicate with people about the idea to make sure that you're building your audience. That's kind of a, kind of a standard thing. Uh, and so Mixo.io has, has a ton of that and it just keeps getting better and better and uh, allows you to grow your audience. It has subscriber management tools. Um, you can then export your subscriber into your, into your different marketing platforms. Uh, and and, and it's, it's, it's quite 
quite impressive. In fact, more than just showing you their landing page, we can jump right in and it, it, this is a, such a great way to onboard customers. It's like, what's your startup idea? I don't know. I'm just going to click, try some of our examples. Uh, online marketplace for selling cause. Well, let's try a different one. Uh, a service that connects patients with doctors to help them with medical needs. Let's try a different one. Interior home decorator that you can book online. Yeah. All right. Let's try that. So I'm going to click generate site and it goes through, you know, right now it's now it's running background tasks where it's designing a logo, collecting site images. Uh, it puts a bunch of fake testimonials up for you. Obviously, you know, ethically, you may want to edit that until you actually get <laughs> testimonials. Um, and, and it, you know, it does all the SEO thing and responsive design and experiencing and page performance and final touches. And, you know, th this process take, you know, that took what? That took, uh, that took probably 20 seconds or something. And so now it's like, all right, here's a logo. I don't, I don't know how that logo necessarily <laughs> applies, but at least the, the landing page looks like a, a clean landing page that you could, in, you know, in 20, 30 seconds here, you can have a landing page up and running. Um, so you get the idea that the, the, the age of, of being able to build a startup quickly to, to use services like these um, from very simple 30 second landing pages like we just did to more sophisticated things with builder IO um, and then integrating uh, chat GPT, you know, integrating open AI's API's to, to generate content for you using GPT three or GPT four for your, as your companion to generate content. It's, this is the er this is the era for this, you know, and, and building more sophisticated applications as you prove out your startup ideas. Um, this, uh, this allows you, it's just, it's just everything's going to go so fast here. So what's fascinating is I noticed that Mixo had a, uh, when, when I looked at it, it had an affiliate program. I used to do this years ago. That's how I made money a lot, you know, a good amount of, uh, of, of business in the 2000s. So I, I've just noticed this getrewardful.com. So I just, not only, yeah, if you want to give me credit for it, uh, you could do this uh, dollar sign via William dash little as you go to Mixo, but it, feel free to just go to Mixo directly. Obviously, I'm just looking at this from the perspective of what's valuable to you, but you may want to look at this getrewardful.com as to generate an affiliate program for yourself and um, on your on your own web pages, uh, as as a way to help growth hack and, and and generate incentives and things like that. So that you know, this is just, I just get, there are hundreds of these, and if you Google around, you'll you'll find it. Or if you ask ChatGPT, I'm sure it will recommend lots of different things to you. But this is a practical way to get get website websites up uh, quickly to go from the, the Mixos 30 second pages to the more sophisticated things with Builder. And I'm sure that Squarespace and Webflow and WordPress and all of these are gonna, you know, and Wix are gonna compete um, and just make this better and better and better as they integrate with all the different AI platforms and generative AI and the mid journeys and things like that. So this is an exciting space to watch. I'll, I'll do these sort of periodic episodes to kind of do a check in uh, with the generative, uh, generative AI movement. And we'll go from there. All right. Have a good rest of your week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. All right. A couple quick things before you go. Number one, I have a general newsletter where I write about technology and startups and health science and teaching people to code. And I write about a variety of different subjects that we talk about on this show. So if you go to wclittle.com, there you'll be able to subscribe. And you'll also be able to subscribe to particular topics. If you're just interested in one or a few of them, you'll be notified right when I publish new content in those areas. Number two, my partners and I at Proto Ventures have a portfolio company called Startup Rocket. If you go to startuprocket.com, 
There you'll be able to receive coaching guides and customize an operations framework for you and your team and your advisors to be on the same page in terms of what is the appropriate next step for you and your entrepreneurial journey. And finally, if you wouldn't mind leaving a review anywhere that you have listened to this podcast or watched this podcast, it'd be super helpful to help those who might be interested in consuming this content as well. Thank you.